it's advent calendar time Woo! hi everybody my name is julie thank you so much for watching we are doing our next advent calendar day and i'm excited to show you because the last two weeks was kind of so um if you haven't been here before hi i open up this box it is not actually a clearance box it's just a pretty box that has drawers so it's easier for me to stick samples in for me to try um, if i like it i continue using it if i don't like it i declutter it and move forward um and then i sometimes show you like my empties from this because it's part of a project plan that i pulled together so two weeks ago i opened up on my cellar water by urban hydration and i didn't use it once um it's not because it was a bad product. It's because, you know, two weeks ago, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm wearing makeup again. Well, then guess who didn't wear makeup for the next two weeks? Me. Um, so I'm giving myself a few more weeks to try this one before I get rid of it. But I didn't use it. If I don't use it by the end of this project, I'm going to get rid of it because there's no point. But I am hoping that maybe I use it up. It's It's not that big. It's like one... So it's two fluid ounces, which is really not that big. If I did use micellar waters like I did when I wore makeup every day, all day long, it would be so easy to go through it. But that's just not where I'm at right now. So let's move on. Let's see what this next two weeks has for me. All right, we get to go to door number nine here. And let's see what this is, a fragrance. And this fragrance is Nest Indigo Eau de Parfum. This is actually good timing. Well, it's good yet not good timing. I am about to end a fragrance that I'm using currently that I've been loving, uh, but I was hoping to go back to my fragrance program. Fragrance. I can't speak. I was hoping to go back to my fragrance project pan, but we'll use this one next. This is from the Nest website and it is this, the spray is, uh, well, I have a roller ball. That's okay the exotic fragrance that is exploration of the mediterranean with notes of italian lemon orange bergamot moroccan tea cashmere wood and wild figs from the south of france well there you go behind the scent oh no that just tells us about it but so this is what this is what it looks like that's not too shabby okay um i like fig i like bergamot Moroccan tea is an interesting scent. To me, a Moroccan tea is like a mint tea. And I don't smell any mint in here. But they're probably using it to describe something else. It is, I feel like that's light and fresh. Um, that's not super fruity. I do tend to prefer fruit scents, but I will give this a go. And this is how much. Oh, they printed over that. Six milliliters. Maybe... Oh, why would you do that? Maybe 0.2 fluid ounces or 0.3 fluid ounces, but it's smaller than a spray bottle. I I'm sure that they probably call this a deluxe sample, but that is what we have. I'll be back in two weeks, tell you what I think. And thank you guys so much for watching. Happy banning.